there are some forces trying to undermine relations between EU countries and China. Commenting on the news that German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and French President Emmanuel Macron may pay a visit to China in November, an article by an Australian analyst on the US website Politico expressed clear displeasure, describing their visit as playing with fire, especially opposing them taking a large business delegation to China. Both the US and Australia would want to see Europe alienate China, as that would benefit Washington and Canberra. This week, the Financial Times disclosed an internal document written by EU foreign policy chief Joe Sparrow, which argues that China has become an even stronger global competitor for the EU and calls on Europe to reduce its dependency on China in our economy and especially from supply chains. Such rhetoric that urges EU countries to stay away from China is obviously echoing one another both inside and outside the organization. The EU has finally stood on the front line of confronting Russia, but this is not enough. Washington's wishful thinking that the EU should also be an adversary of China and the confrontation and the conflict between the EU and China should be more intense than that between the US and China. I just wonder if the EU would be so strategically naive and dance to US's battle.